Hello, in this example, uh, we've got a pushing force that is applied to a box as shown below. Uh, magnitude of the force is increased until the box either tips or slides. Uh, we're asked which will occur first. Uh, we're assuming the center of mass of the box is the center point of the box itself. Um, so in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically draw a free body diagram, solve for that pushing force, assuming that it slides. Uh, we're going to do a second set of equations. We are going to draw the box and assume the pushing force increases until it tips. Whichever is the lower pushing force is the one that's going to happen first. So we're going to start with slipping. Uh, and so for this, our free body diagram is going to be as follows. So we're going to have our pushing force over here on the side. We're going to have our 80 pound gravity force here in the center. Uh, and we're going to have Fn and the friction force. Uh, in terms of key angles, uh, we're only going to be looking at the force equations in this case. Uh, all we're going to need is this 35 degree angle uh, additionally. So with that, let's go ahead and write out our equilibrium equations. So sum of forces in the x, it's going to be F push cosine 35 minus FF equals zero. In the y direction, so sum of forces in the y, we're going to have Fn plus F push sine 35 minus 80 is equal to zero. Um, and then the last piece of this puzzle is going to be we're assuming slipping, so we're assuming impending motion. So FF is going to be equal to the coefficient of friction, 0.45, times the normal force. All right. So if I take um, the this piece and the sum of forces in the x, uh, I can basically solve and say, well, F push is going to be equal to 0.45 over cosine 35. Uh, times whatever Fn is. Uh, and so that's basically this piece here, uh, substituted in for Ff, and then I divide by cosine 35. All right, so that can be substituted into the y equation uh, and so I'm going to go to the next page now and do that. So if I have 0.45 over cosine 35 times Fn, that's getting in plugged in right here. Or sorry, um, sine 3 is for F push. So times sine 35 minus 80 plus Fn, that needs to be equal to zero. All right, so in this case, I've got one equation with one, one unknown. Uh, if I solve for Fn at this point, I'd wind up with Fn equals 60.83 pounds and F push, which is going to be equal to uh, this here. So 0.45 time, 0.45 over cosine 35 times our Fn value. We can solve for F push of 33.42 pounds. All right, that is the force it would take to um, push the block, uh, assuming that it it slips first. Um, next up, I need to assume tipping. So tip. 
Uh, and so for this, I'm gonna again draw my free body diagram. I'm gonna have my pushing force. Uh, I'm gonna have my normal force. And my friction force. And my 80 pounds for gravity force. Uh, key dimensions and angles in this case. So again, the 35 degrees. Um, it's gonna be 0.5 feet to the center, 0.5 feet to the other edge, and the entire height is three feet. All right, so it's important in this case that the normal force has been shifted all the way over to the edge right here. Uh, and so if I wanna know what is the pushing force uh, needed to uh, cause this to tip, I only need to look at the moment equation, really. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We call this point A, and if I take the sum of moments about point A, um, I'm going to find that um, I'm going to have basically this pushing force. So I've got x and y components. We use varignons there and break that down. So F push uh, times the cosine of 35. It's the x component. So that is the magnitude of the force, um, and then it's going to be uh, times three is the vertical distance there. So that's gonna be a counterclockwise moment, or sorry, clockwise moment, so that's gonna be negative. Um, and then I'm also gonna have, um, so minus, I would have F push sine 35, So that's the vertical piece that's also going to cause a counterclockwise moment, so it's still negative. And that distance there is going to be times one foot. Uh, so that is the uh, horizontal distance there. And then I'm going to have all that countered by my um, gravity force here. So 80 pounds, it would cause a clockwise moment. Um, so that's going to be plus 80 and then distance is 0.5. That is the perpendicular distance from this force to point A. Uh, so that only needs to add up to zero. Um, so if I were to go about solving this, so F push is the only variable in there, uh, I would find F push, in this case, is gonna be equal to 13.2 pounds. All right, so do some comparison. Uh, we see it would take 13.2 pounds to tip this body over, 33.42 pounds to slide the body. Uh, therefore, this is the lower amount. Uh, it's going to tip first. So, tip first. All right, so that's all I have for this video example. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.